Meron ako ditong report ngayon uh, kay, galing kay Secretary Guevara na to from the task force that I commissioned to do the investigation. You know, uh, itong investigation ito was participated in by the COA and the Ombudsman so that uh, we can move uh, faster. Uh, yung coercive powers kasi ng uh, COA, pati ano, mas madali, uh, records mo lang yan, the ombudsman, we just try to do, re, to report what, what's uh, happening to the, rep, to the progress of the report and for him to act uh, accordingly. So dito, uh, they recommended uh, the criminal and administrative uh, ano dito uh, basahin ko na lang uh, I'll, I'll do it in a jiffy liability number 8 of the report page uh, 5 of uh, page 5 of 6 pages the totality of the evidence presented before the task force supports the reasonable conclusion that wrongful acts or omissions on the part of certain key corporate officers of the field health have been committed. A, the negligence exhibited by certain officers of the field health executive committee gives rise to both administrative and criminal liability under the following laws. A Republic Act number 1319, the Antigraph and Corrupt Practices, the Penal Code, uh, sa Revised Penal Code, the malversation of public funds or property, and the illegal use of public funds and property, gross misconduct, gross neglect of duty, under civil service rules. In addition, the same corporate officers may be held liable for certain violation of the National Internal Revenue Code in connection with their failure to withhold taxes on IRM releases. B, while the board Chairman and members exhibited negligence in several instances to wit their careless approval of ICT procurement, the ratification of the I, uh, IRM, Mahito Young Advanced Fund releases on March 2020, and the consent of the modification of judgment in court adjudicated cases and negligence is somehow mitigated by the active concealment of vital documents and information and the, and the apparent misrepresentation by those who had sought the board's approval. C, the foregoing notwithstanding, the task force recommends that the president strongly admonish and remind the chairman and members of the board or a grave consequence of their action or inaction to fill that fund to the government and its coffers and to the interests of the ordinary people who rely on field health assistance. Specific recommendations to the president considering and uh, considering thus in view of the all of the foregoing the filing of criminal charges against the following person is by hereby recommended in relation to various ICT procurement, including the concealment of important information in relation thereto, violation of Section 3A, RA number. Oh no. I read that's uh, uh, the Antigraph 1319 against uh, 
Vice President, ano ba ting S? Oh, Vice President, uh, Senior Aragona, OIC Gabuya, and Division Chief Chris Tungo. Second, violation of Section 3E of RA Number 1319, again, this is the anti-graph law, against PCEO Morales, is VP Aragona and OIC Gabuya. Third, violation of Section 3G of RA 1319, again, another provision of the Republic Act. This is known as the uh, Antigraph Law. May na ang matakaw, posensya ka. The violation of, maliliit kasi dito, violation of Section 3G against PCEO Morales, SVP Aragona, OIC Gabuya, and PRO NCR personnel. And Trabaje por la nido. Of Article 213 of the R uh, Revised uh, Penal Code against PCEO Morales, SVP Aragona, and Gabuya in relation to the disbursement of IR. M funds prior to the effectivity of the pertinent circular malversation of public funds or property under Article 217 of the Revised Penal Code against PCEO Morales and SBP Limsiaco. Second is uh, the violation of 3A of RA 1319 against PCO Morales and EVP COO Dr. Oh no, not Dr. Sorry. Jesus, Senior Vice President Limsiaco and uh, Senior Vice President Par Pargas. In relation to the release of RM. R, uh, IRM funds despite the lack of sufficient standards of implementation. Again, uh, charges violation of Section 3A again of the anti graph law against SBV Pargas in relation to the non withholding taxes of the R, IR. M fund disbursement in violation of section 251, 255, and 272 of the NIRC, as well as the violation of RA 1061 against the PCEO Morales and SBV Dimsiaco, and violation of section 258. To, no, rather, 256. I'm sorry, my eyes, are, my eyes are failing me. Of the NIRC against Field Health and Corporation. The filing, ad, the filing of administrative charges against the following persons in relation to the above described action or omission is likewise recommended. Dishonesty gross neglect of duty, grave misconduct, falsification of official document, disloyalty to the Republic of the Philippines and to the, to the Filipino, the inefficiency and incompetence and the performance of official duties and or conduct prejudicial to the best interest of the service against PCEO Morales, EVP uh, CEO Jesus, again, Senior Vice President Aragona, 
Senior Vice President Limshako, OIC Gabuya and Division Chief Chrysostomo. Further investigation on following complaints against other officials and employees of the field as contained in Part 7, Part 6 of the attached task force field is hereby recommended. In a, in a nutshell, I have to read this because uh, on uh, the issue of field health and corruption was really a, a an important issue to the Filipinos and to, to everybody. And everybody, again, is also placed in jeopardy by the actions of uh, the officials. Uh, I'm sorry for them, but they would have to go undergo a trial. Although they can always prove the guilt beyond reasonable doubt. The presumption of innocence still attaches. But the report of uh, another agency says otherwise. So, what is happening in the field? Hello, Silhat, board.